Hello everybody, let us consider some parameters frequently used in fetal biometry. So let's make a scheme of a fetus. including the limbs. So one of the first parameters would be the crown rump length, abbreviated as CRL, CR, CRL, sorry. Also known as the sitting height. I would be that. that parameter. The total length would be better estimated as the crown heel length. So to the heel. But more important from the point of view of prenatal ultrasound, which is the method of a choice during uh, fetal biometry, is the length of the humerus bone, known as the humerus length. So H L is the humerus length. Similarly, the length of the femur could be a precise parameter used for estimating the age of the pregnancy. So is the femur length due to the ossification you can get nice echo from the bone tissue and also the maximum abdominal circumference the head is also quite a relevant structure for the fetal biometry. So if you would look from above with ultrasound, you would see the frontal bones and the parietal bones There he will be the lambdoid suture, the, the occipital, the squama of the occipital bone. Then you can you can measure uh, eyeball at also the nasal bone to the front, right? You can you can measure the head circumference. head circumference and here perhaps it's good to know that a typical average head circumference in a full term fetus or in a newborn would be 34 centimeters 
because the head is commonly the leading point of the parturition mechanism. You can measure the occipital frontal diameter from the frontal bones to the occiput so that we the occipital frontal diameter and last parameter that is routinely measured is the distance between the tuberosities of parietal bones known as the biparietal diameter just for uh, a rough estimate how is the size and weight of the fetus change during aging so if this would be the end of each lunar month so each lunar month would have 28 days to compensate for the diverse length of real calendar months so third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and the tenth month the crown heel length in centimeters would be in the first in these three months it will be the number of the month uh, squared so this is 9 centimeters 16 centimeters 25 centimeters then the rule changes and it's like approximately 30 35 40 45 and 50 centimeters well the point here is you cannot you can never measure precisely this crown heel length in a fetus uh, in utero when it's still in the womb so this is j only for a rough idea what the dimensions are approximately and second point it's nowadays obsolete because the fetal biometry these days relies on databases and percentiles uh, from the ultrasound measurements but the weight in grams just for the idea would be the corresponding weight would be 45 grams 200 grams 450 grams 800 1300 2100 2900 and the average birth weight something around 300 uh, 3400 grams 3.5 kilos speaking about age let's consider the two ways of pregnancy dating the first system is based on the assumption that the day zero is the day of the fertilization this is routinely used in a clinical embryology uh, and uh, using this system then the pregnancy lasts for 39 weeks 39 times 7 equals 266 days so that's the first system however a system used in gynecology and obstetrics relies on the assumption that the day zero was the last the last menstrual period in this case it's in average two weeks longer so it's 40 weeks 
which by the way equals uh, 10 lunar months, 10 times 28, which equals 280 days. So whenever you will be referring to any data from the literature or medical record, make sure which system are you talking about and which system are you using to avoid any confusion. The difference is that the last menstrual period occurs approximately 14 days, that makes two weeks, before the ovulation, which is usually also the day of the fertilization. There are var various uh, systems of how the pregnancy due date could be estimated. One of the classical methods was the date of the last menstru menstrual period. You would add seven days and subtract three months and you got the date. Uh, the more accurate way and the preferred way in medicine these days are the most, actually the most accurate estimation of the pregnancy due date is uh, based upon the biometry of the fetus by combining all these parameters together. So it's based on fetal biometrics, uh, on the data acquired during the ultrasonographic um, examination um, until week 14. That's the first regular screening done these days. Sorry, one correction here, it's 38, not 39, so literally as written 38 times 7, okay?